Well, it's uh, definitely toy season uh, here on the ranch. Uh, this is my favorite toy, uh, unless pets and uh, spouses uh, count. Um, love this thing to death, but you gotta buy a lot of stuff uh, to keep your expensive toys expensive. Uh, this week we learned that uh, these tires um, are maybe uh, a little needy when it comes to uh, repair parts and going into my toy box here. That's my air compressor. Phew! Little cheeseburger looking thing, huh? It's small. It's It struggles to fill up um, small profile car tires. It is really noisy and it's really cheap. So, that's a water heater by the way. Uh, need to get rid of this because this is going to be where my new toy is going to go. And uh, what is my new toy? Oh, it's a brand new DeWalt uh, 60 gallon air compressor and tank. And it's got oil in it, so we're going to need to get this guy back on his feet. Not sure what I'm going to name it yet. But uh, we managed to fit this in the uh, uh, small SUV or crossover or whatever the hell they call those things uh, that my wife has. Uh, because we don't have a trailer and I just sold my truck this year. Um, Calera seems to approve of uh, the air compressor, which is an important uh, milestone. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab this guy and I'm going to uh, push him onto his feet. Oh, crap. <laughs> I managed to find and smear some uh, Grant John Deere grease on myself. That's pretty cool. Uh, where did I touch? And now I'm going to have to watch my own video to figure out what I touched. But there shouldn't be that much grease in places my finger easily finds. Uh, but either way, this guy, sans John Deere grease, will need to get stood up so that the oil doesn't leak out of this thing and we don't have a catastrophic problem. Uh, and I, I don't want it outside, I do want it inside, but I think what I'm going to do is wire this guy up for both locations. Uh, it's not overly heavy, it's a little over 100 pounds. Um, I pulled it out of the car and into this thing without damaging anything except for possibly a small scuff on the car which is uh yeah that's bad uh but i was able to do that with uh my wife and uh teenage daughter so i don't think that standing it's up is going to be any problem at all it actually moves around pretty good once you get it onto the uh, wood stand you can kind of like shake it back and forth like you're moving an oil drum or something uh so yeah, um, it's uh, it's gonna be okay. I do have the um, the teeth on it because it, this was kind of a, the wife woke me up early in the morning and said, "Let's go get the air compressor," and uh, I was like, "Yeah, I love cotton candy." And so when we got down there and I woke up enough to realize what was going on, we were here. We were at this stage looking down the barrel of this thing so um yeah i'm gonna probably uh let a little bit of the uh, height out of the bucket which is why this thing's uh up right now and running i don't want it to lose hydraulic pressure and drop this thing like uh, a watermelon because it probably would do watermelon things um the tank feels pretty good but uh yeah that top section right there makes me nervous uh so Let's get to it after I get my finger clean so I don't rub a bunch of uh, used grease all over a new toy.